my life changed. Um, I'm a happy person. I wake up every single day and I look at the mirror like, and I smile. And I'm thankful that I was strong enough to actually achieve this goal. I think once I heard that, I mean, that tells you one thing. I mean, he's got some discipline. Our slogan is your life, your choice, and dream, believe, achieve. And, you know, we try to go to kids and try to make them actually live better lives. It can help us as an organization just go to, go to schools and motivate the kids and just keep doing our thing here. I think it will be a worldwide thing and it's aiming to improve lives. At the young age of 23, Ahmed Salim, known as Tika, has managed to do something amazing. He has helped bridge a vast cultural gap between two very different worlds. He has brought people from the largely Muslim cultures of Arabic countries together with people from the Appalachian Bible Belt. How he did this? By sharing a message. A message that people all over the world can relate to. Dream, believe, and achieve. I think it started when I was seven years old. You know, I have some pictures in, in my school when I was like a little kid. I was always the biggest kid in the class. Like anyone who wants to lose weight, I was just thinking that don't eat and just go and work out. And that actually helps you lose weight, but you have a lot of fat percentage and you know, and you gain this weight very easily because you slow down your metabolism and stuff like that. And I'm saying that because after I was doing everything wrong, I had to sit down and actually research. I will stop looking at the scale, I wouldn't care, and I just started changing everything in my life, you know? So I started eating more meals, smaller portions, where I'm not really hungry, but I'm eating healthier uh, meals, and at the same time, just working out, working out, and making it a habit, something that I love, you know, because a lot of people do not understand what it means to actually do something that you enjoy. He shares a story of being a severely overweight child who was constantly teased and bullied by his classmates. Tika tells the kids of how he dreamed every day of being on the Egyptian national junior basketball team, a dream that seemed impossible for a kid who was obese. But Tika reminds audience members that anything is possible, and tells them of how he lost 144 pounds his last year of high school through healthy diet and exercise, eventually achieving his dream to play on the Egyptian team. Tika soon discovered dream, believe, achieve is a message that everyone needs to hear. People in all corners of the world, whether they live near the deserts of Dubai or the mountains of West Virginia. Tika began giving motivational seminars to hundreds of thousands of high school and university students around the world. Afterward, he would often hear from kids in the audience who were inspired by his story. Many of the kids, some with tears in their eyes, said that he helped change their lives. At the age of 19, he formed Tika Group, an organization that works to bridge cultural gaps between countries through the promotion of healthy lifestyles. Soon he received invitations to speak to students in the other parts of the Middle East, and eventually to students in the United States. What actually kept me motivated is that I had this big goal. I always wanted to create an organization. I always wanted to be one of these guys like Zuckerberg, Bill Gates, I always, want, I always had this dream. He has delivered 128 seminars to kids all over the world. Many of these kids now regularly interact with kids from other countries through the Teens for Tika group. Kids from very different religions and cultures, but all wanting the same thing, healthier lives. After presenting a seminar at West Virginia State University, Tika proposed a partnership between the university and his school, the University of Sharjah. He also suggested that the first project as partner universities be a major international health conference to be held at the University of Sharjah in February 2016. The conference was organized by Tika Group and held under the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Dr. Sultan bin Mohammed Al Qasimi, the ruler of Sharjah, and co-sponsored by the World Health Organization. The conference was a huge success. A 15-member delegation from West Virginia traveled to Sharjah to participate in the conference. The group included West Virginia State University faculty and students, as well as the president of the university, Dr. Brian Hemphill, 
and the West Virginia Public Health Commissioner, Dr. Raul Gupta. The main reason why I thought, or I started thinking about this conference is that I wanted to bring something back for our university. And just having the ruler supporting a student's idea was a huge thing for me. Following the conference, Tika was granted the very prestigious Black and Gold Scholarship by West Virginia State University to pursue his master's degree in media studies. What made me decide to play basketball was a dream for me to play basketball in America. I played in my college in, uh, in the Middle East, which is the University of Sharjah. I played two years with them, and I always had this dream to play in, a, in an American college. My dad has been a professional basketball coach and he's one of the, you know, like, very known coaches and players in the Middle East. Like, he was one of the top. So, he was always my motivation. I always wanted to play basketball. You know, I think Tika brings to the team uh, experience is, is probably what I would think of first. Um, you know, I think he's, he's played, obviously, internationally. He's played a lot of, a lot of basketball. And I think in the little bit that I've been able to watch and see him and, and kind of evaluate him, uh, I think he's got a pretty good uh, IQ for the game. You know, he brings different views uh, from the way things are done over there and what he's seen over there. And then, you know, he can bring those views to, to us here on this campus. As a graduate student, Tika takes three courses and teaches two classes for the university, in addition to playing point guard on the basketball team. Surprisingly, one of his teammates also became one of his students in his classroom. Tika is studying all aspects of media theory and production. He has begun work on his master's thesis, which analyzes public health approaches to battling obesity in the USA. Tika teaches a course called Race, Gender, and Human Identity, which allows him to discuss religious and cultural diversity with young people from all walks of life. A full-time graduate student, instructor, college athlete, Tika group manager, Yet even with this busy schedule, he still makes time to speak to young people at high schools and universities in the USA every chance he gets. I just think that we're all human beings. Um, you know, I, I think the key for anything is just different human beings from different cultures, from different religions, from different races to actually come together and forget about this because nowadays, Race is playing a big role in everything. Religions is playing a big role of everything. And I just think that we are human beings. I mean, we shouldn't really think about, because all of this is personal. What you believe in or what you, your religion, this is something that is personal. But at the end of the day, you're, we are all human beings that should have the same mission, the same vision of, of just helping people. Help every kid that needs help. In every state, in every school, in every county in every city, everywhere, in every house, um, less fortunate people, everyone. Just help if anyone that needs help. Um, and when I say help kids, I'm talking about the United States of America, I'm talking about every other country. That is my goal. That is actually our organization's goal. Our big goal is to reach to the eight billion people. If it's gonna take us five years, it's gonna get, take us 10 years, if it's gonna take us 20, 50 years, I don't care because I always told the people that are, that are working with us in the organization, I wanna make sure that after I die, the organization doesn't die. And that is why I really wanna leave a legacy before I die. I just wanna, I want people to say, he helped us. He was the reason why I changed my life.